They played an absolutely beautiful game of basketball against Iowa State. We're going to discuss what they did in particular that countered what Iowa State's been, frankly, an elite defense so far and the brilliancy that they showed. Let's go. So the first thing is we noticed that Iowa State does this thing where they force, force the sideline. We saw this in Texas A&M. We saw this in Nebraska. We've seen this in a couple teams this year. But Iowa State does this at a very, very high level. Okay, so Illinois, the central way to counter this is to say, okay, we're going to go there because it requires you to put two defenders on the ball. And we're going to essentially use that to counter. Okay, so three is calm when, when he gets the ball down here and slim, simply kicks it out where you have this two-on-one opportunity. And with this two-on-one opportunity, that's where you can exploit it to get open looks, a quick pass to the corner, and you have a good look from a good three-point shooter right there. So then the second concept is Iowa State's whole defense, they're built upon trying to keep you out of the middle. So if you can run a little bit of action essentially to get you into the middle, then it creates a lot of opportunities. So this right here, you just force and take your defender with you, and then you kick it to the corner and force a little bit of a close-up. Because he's closing out, this player is going to have the advantage going downhill. And you take that advantage going downhill, going into the middle. And going into the middle is where you're going to cause issues, because that's essentially where they're not used to players getting, because... That's they're trying to avoid that the entire time. Get the ball into the middle, and then you have this again two on one, except even more confined space, and you get a quick kick and again a wide open three from the corner. This is a big reason why I believe uh, when you're on offense, essentially the way to counter things is to make it so you attack what the defense leaves open and instead of trying to avoid what the defense is giving you. Like here, again, we can see two players who's open. There. I mean, that's a tough pass, but like that's how you create the advantage. Okay, so you're calm in there, you swing it once, you swing it once more, and then this rotation is so difficult because you have forced this defender to choose between which of them he's going to guard, and that means one of them is going to be open, and a lack of another rotation means again another open three. Even though Illinois got eliminated, we can still learn a lot from the offense that they employed in this game. Okay, so again, we saw. Two players on the ball right here, that means you want to force them to be in rotation. Okay, so 10 moves over here, rotation, skip, one more pass, and then there's no other rotation. Eventually, the defense runs out of rotation. The ball moves faster than the defense can. So if you have great passes, it leads to great shots. And Illinois won this game because of playing a beautiful offensive game, frankly. They played solid on defense, too. But I thought it was their offensive game plan that really stood out. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like and subscribe. Have a blessed rest of your day.